Audio Jungle. Let us understand microservices, which is one of the most talked buzzword in today's time. So there is a reason why I have put this section just after the completion of Kubernetes services. So most of the people think like the people who are not familiar with Kubernetes, they think somehow that microservices are the same things as Kubernetes services. Okay, but that is absolutely incorrect. So what are microservices? We will understand here. So let us assume this architecture of an application. So this is an example from a shopping store website. So th this blue box is your e-store UI. And that means the web page with which the, the user interacts. And apart from the web page, the UI, you have a catalog service, you have an order service, and you have a payment service, right? So, and the whole application has a common database, right? So here you can see every component, product, order, payment, the UI is a part of a single code, okay? And you have a single database. This is called as monolithic architecture or old fashioned architecture used in earlier times. Okay, We still have some applications like this, unfortunately, but this is called as monolithic architecture. Why monolithic? Because you have a single code which makes complicated, makes it complicated to understand. Okay, so whether it has been developed by a single uh, developer or multiple developers, but the code base is a single file or a single code basically. Okay, this is very less fault tolerance and very difficult to maintain. Why? Because if you have problem in any of the components, you have to fix the whole code. Okay, you, you don't know wh whether the problem is in, is because of this component or that component or this component, right? big single database if the single db is gone i mean you have all the all the states preserved in a single database if there is some problem in this database then it is very difficult to restore this scaling and deployment challenges right why because when you have single codes or uh, monolithic uh, kind of uh, components it is very difficult to scale them because you have to scale all the components together, multiply all of them together, okay? And all the components are not compatible with the uh, with uh, quick scaling on the infrastructure. And this is extremely difficult to change technology or language or framework. Let's say if you want to ch if you want to recode this application from Node.js to some other language, let's say Python or from python to r or from r to any anything anyone else like right so that thing is very much difficult because you have all your catalog services under one code okay so if one component you you are successful to code into another one another application another language or framework uh, it doesn't mean that the other component will also be able to uh, able to get adapted with that Okay, so these are some challenges of monolithic architecture or monolithic kind of application. So to resolve this, they have come across with this kind of architecture. This is called as microservices architecture. So now you have your same uh, shopping site. Okay, and there are some smaller services okay which are available so remember these services means uh, here these services are not technical so these are components separate s software components so in place of a single code now you have a small pieces of code independent and easy to manage so this is one code catalog service this is another code card service so four developers can work simultaneously on their part of code and develop the code in any language or any framework of their choice 
okay very easy maintenance because single service won't make whole system down now let's say if you have uh, a problem in this service here catalog service and this is down then there should not be the problem with rest three of the services okay and you will be easily able to identify that okay this particular service has some problem and you can fix that and every service has its own database so small separate small databases for each microservice so just like the codes if you have a problem in one of the dbs you can fix it okay scaling and deployment is easy let's say you want to scale only the catalog service so the problem here is you cannot scale only the catalog service you have to scale you have to multiply the whole code together okay but here you can only scale the order service you can you can make the catalog service up and down up to up to uh, the multiplication factor of your choice okay and every service can be coded in any language or framework because finally you will have uh, container images and you can run different different container images onto your infrastructure so understanding from this kind of uh, uh, example i can say that microservices is not a technical term it is more of a business or a design context okay so in business terminologies i mean these services are called as microservices okay they should not be confused with the kubernetes services which is purely a technical object kubernetes service is a technical object microservice is a business object okay so uh, when when uh, when the business managers or uh, or the business development managers uh, imagine an application for their business they talk in these terms that okay this particular application will have these much services and those services has a business relevance okay or a design relevance in that context they will be called as microservices okay now let us understand microservices in telco context so this is a typical telecom application wherein uh, we have a ui and we have components like tracing logging performance management onm and other um, uh, functionalities this is kind of um, side components and the main components of any telecom uh, application are the signaling agents and the traffic agents and they all have a common database so this is the monolithic architecture of telecom applications which we we are uh, familiar with okay if you log in into any of the telecom node may it be volti epc your old uh, legacy rncs bscs ggsn sgsn all have almost similar kind of architecture okay but now when telecom applications are also evolving towards microservices so they will also have a change in the architecture so um, uh, beyond the ui now you have separate component kubernetes terms separate deployment for tracing for oem okay or in vnf terms these are your vms right so you have oem vm you have perform uh, some vms for performance some vms as signaling agent some vms as logging agent right so you have different different components now okay and each component has its separate database okay so that's how a telecom application has been migrated from monolithic to microservices architecture okay in when this application will be deployed on kubernetes so it is like these are your deployments deployment number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these are your stateful sets all the databases okay and all of them together will be called as an application